I couldn't have been more happy. Everybody who listens is invited to the wedding, right? <laughs> the first pitch on the way, that is outside for ball one. Well, uh, they can certainly chat with me. I think it's going to be difficult for the folks here in Mississippi to make it, though. The 1-0. That's lifted down the right field line. Drifting over is Coulter. He's ranging towards the bullpen, which will scatter as this one goes four rows deep. Great catch by the grown man who brought his glove. Unfortunately, it just counts for a strike. It's one and one to Taylor Sparks. I didn't realize Easter moves around as much as it does as the one one. That's waved over and missed one and two. And as a result, wedding three days later, Mardi Gras. <laughs> Never entered three my brain. Three days afterwards. Three days after. Here's the one two pitch. That's down in the dirt. Jenkins tried to get him to chase a curveball, but he bounced it in front of the plate. It's two and two. So I can't figure out from a wedding planning perspective what would be better, three day or w better or worse for that matter, three days after or three days before. So wouldn't you have the bachelor party around that time? Uh, I would say that having it uh, as the 2-2 pitch on the way, that's a cold third strike on the outside corner. Jenkins, his eighth strikeout of the night, and that sets a new career high for Tom Jenkins. One gone here in the top of the seventh inning, and the Shuckers leading one to nothing. Just pinpointed a fastball on the outer edge, and Jenkins has been locked in at MGM Park tonight. 